Hello, it's uh, Johnny Reb here again. Uh, after a long hiatus, I have decided that I would sit down and film a quick video about some of the crap that's going on right now. Uh, right now, just as you all know, the situation regarding our monuments and and our veterans are it, it, it's really bad to put it bluntly it's bad I can't I can't think of any other solution but uh, look these people they are vandalizing our memorials. They're not just vandalizing them, actually. Now, now that I <laughs> they're not vandalizing them. They're destroying them. They're tearing them down. Just last night, they tore one down. They wrapped a rope around the around the neck of the uh, the soldier on the statue and strung it up from a light post. They literally lynched a monument, dude. They lynched it. That's what that was. I I don't know what else to say other than it's not right. Leave other people's stuff alone. It's very unfortunate what happened in Minnesota. Totally agree with that. That was very, very, very unfortunate and fucked up. The whole situation is. But don't tear up other people's stuff. Don't mess with other people's things. Because the, these people have a movement, okay? It's a movement. That's what it is. But the thing about a movement is if you want to be heard, don't use violence. Yeah, people will listen to you, but people will listen to you because they're scared of you. Not because they want to listen to you, or they agree with you. They're scared of you. That's why all this is happening. Because people are scared, they don't want to get involved. But what should happen is, now look, quick disclaimer. I'm not advocating for violence. I'm above that. What I'm saying is, we should have some people get together in, in, a, in the areas where these memorials are, guard them, and protect them around the clock. And if they've been vandalized, if you know of one in your area that's vandalized, get some people together, clean it. You can pressure wash it. You can use spray paint rem remover. You can, there's things you can do for it. Like I said, I'm going to say it again, because apparently it just seems like to me, it feels like to me, that very few people care. It just feels like to me, very few people care. What I'm asking you to do is I'm asking you to care not just for yourself but for the people that came before you because these memorials and that's what they are they're not just monuments I'm going to allow somebody to desecrate the grave of one of your family members no then why are you not upset about these monuments these memorials Stand up and do something before it's too late. Last night, they 
they tore down three monuments in Richmond. Three. And no one was no one was there first to protect them. It's not just for us, it's for it's for them. And this is something else. The United Daughters of the Confederacy Headquarters in Richmond burned late last month. This is June that I'm filming this. This is June. Late last month, rioters went to the United Daughters of the Confederacy Headquarters in Richmond and they threw Molotovs through the window. A fire was set and this fire was contained by the fire department who had to fight their way to put a fire out. They had to have police in front of them fighting their way through the rioters in order for them to put a fire out. Fire was contained to a library. Inside of that library were original Rare books, manuscripts, le soldiers' letters, photographs, card editions, all gone. But worst of all, the flag of the 41st Virginia Infantry Regiment, an original battle flag that was on the wall, is gone, burnt up. They burned an original battle flag. Are you, are you angry enough yet? Are you going to let it happen again? What happens if they break into museums next and start the ground? What happens if, you know, they go into the American Civil War Museum and do the same thing? Irreplaceable artifacts will be gone forever can't replace that. And by the way, that flag that was burned, General Jackson himself presented that to that regiment. And it's gone now. Oh, and here's another thing. These rioters in Richmond start, started a fire on a house. Inside of that house was a child. A child. A child was inside of a burning house. The police had to fight their way through so the fire department could come in and put the fire out and save the kid. Thank God he was a thank God that kid was there. That's what we're fighting against. This is not just about our heritage anymore. It's about right versus wrong. Do was right. The words, in the words of Edmund Brooke, he said, the only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is that good men do nothing. Don't do nothing. Be safe out there and do what you can. Please.